hello world this is what's up 290 and, and, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a Tor Relay or exit Tor Relay or if you want to an exit node on Linux, Debian or Ubuntu. So there's one thing, oh, this also works with Kali Linux too. So before we get started I'm going to need you to do one thing. Decide what port number you want to use on your Tor Relay, for your Tor Relay, and go and configure that port number for, for um, port forwarding on your firewall and router. Because you, that whatever port you're gonna use has to be set up for port, for, uh, for port forwarding, otherwise it can't, otherwise your relay's not gonna be able to connect to the Tor network. So if you don't know what a port is, it's basically sort of, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it, it's the layers on your network that different applications use to communicate with the internet in the, net, in the network. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is open Terminal. And I, you should be signed in as, uh, preferably you should be signed in as root while installing Tor. But if you're not, then what you're going to want to do is just type sudo apt slash get install Tor. And then press enter and you have to input your uh, password first, your admin password. But then if you if you're already signed in as root, you don't have to type sudo, you just type apt slash get install tor. And it's installing it now for me. It's so what you're gonna want to do is just wait for this to finish which it shouldn't take very long, just, just, uh, um, just, um, wait for it to finish, and also if, it, if you launch Torn, it says it's outdated and stuff, then you can just go to, um, get, just do that again, it should update it. So what you're going to want to do now is go to the f your files, other locations, computer, and then type and then go to etc then here search for tor and you should see this tor and click on that and you should see this tor cc file what you're going to want to do is open that so once you've gotten your the torque file open you just want to go scroll down to the bottom and i already have it here because i'm going to show you how to because I'm gonna, sh because I will show you. Because I'm running a Tor relay myself, but I'll show you what the code you need to do. So just type QR port, and then type whatever port number you had set up for port forwarding on your firewall. And then for exit poly, by default, it's set to reject, so that your relay cannot be used as an exit relay. You can set it if you don't want it to be an exit relay. Then just type exit policy reject this wait sorry and then that will tell it to not use your your uh, that will tell Tor to not use your relay as an exit relay. You can set it to be an exit relay if you want to by doing by t coding it to say this instead. And then you, it can be, and then that'll enable that. And then if you do that, that'll enable or to use your relay as an exit relay, but keep in mind, you can get in trouble for that because what can happen is, because the exit relay is the final hop in the Tor circuit where Tor traffic exits the Tor network. So people who are using Tor, like the, if their traffic comes out of that node, of your exit node, then you can, uh, then your ISP can see it and see and think that it's you that's doing all the stuff that whoever's 
sending Tor traffic through your exit node is you they can think that it's you doing it doing all that stuff so keep that in mind if you do in, in date, indeed indeed uh, plan to run an exit relay Tor actually does have a way a ways of a way to block uh, certain services on exit relays and you should go Google uh, search that list if you plan on running an exit relay the, there's because on their website they have a list where like you can set it so that if you do want to run an exit relay they can you can block people from being able to do certain things on your through your exit relay well, once you've decided that you just want to type in go to the next line type in nickname and then type whatever you want the name of your relay to be on the network so like if you type in the whatever nickname you choose that is the name that your relay will be known as on the network so what you're going to want so now go to just go to the next line oh sorry about that now just go to the next line and type contact info now it's important that you put a work you don't have to put this but you you should put a working email address here that you check because this because Tor will use that email address to tell you if something wrong or wonky is going on with your relay. So just type your email address, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. I'm not what you, what you want to do now is click save. However, I'm not going to save it because I already have my coding done, my relay code done here. But once you've decided done this basically just click save and then that'll save the torque file with re with relay configuration instructions so once you've done all that all you have to do now is just open your terminal and type tor and it will go through these different things that'll say it's bootstrapping and starting and all that Connecting the Tor network. And it'll say your Tor server's identity key fingerprint is whatever name you set, and then say uh, that say some strange code like this. And then once it's done bootstrapping, that should be about it. Uh, sometimes for me when it says when it only gets to bootstrap, I find my relays up and running anyway. But most of the time what'll happen is it'll if you configured your firewall in your port forwarding correctly with your IP address of your machine it will it'll get to the point where it says QR port testing it'll say something like testing indicates that your QR port is reachable congratulations publishing server descriptor or something like that or it'll say it like um, or like if you didn't if you didn't configure your port forwarding correctly for your network or your computer It'll say it like, like could not detect, could not determine that your QR port is reachable. So, well, please, and then in which case, what you want to do is just go back and make sure you have your port forwarding set up correctly, and then try it again, and it should work. So, now I'm going to show you a website that we every like couple hours or so, it'll come up and say it like like towards uptime is this many hours i've sent this much data received this much data on the network and that's basically it telling you how much data it's pushing so what you can also do is go to this website and every single relay or exit relay that's on the network will show up here keep in mind it, your relay may not appear here right away though because it can take a while for the network to bootstrap to your relay and start really using it so, yeah, keep that in mind. Maybe if you don't see it here at first, maybe wait like an hour or so. But, like as you can see, my relay is not on here right now because I just started it. So that's about it. If you want to stop your relay, then you just go, f go open up new terminal and type kill all tour. And then that'll kill your re and then that'll stop torn your relay will stop running.
So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off.